welcome to another lecture topics on adrenal gland so today our topic is the adrenal gland so first of all let's see this is the first of all location the adrenal gland it is located supramedially to the upper pole of the skin so it is clear that the adrenal gland it is located superiorly and medially to the upper pole of the kidney that means the adrenal gland it lies the upper part of the kidney and medial part of the kidney so here we can see the adrenal gland here this is the right adrenal gland and this is the left adrenal gland and here we can see this one is the right kidney and this one is the left kidney so adrenal gland they lie superiorly and slightly medially of the kidneys and here we can see the different relation of the adrenal gland first of all here we can see the right adrenal gland and anteriorly it is related to the hepatorenal pouch and bare area of the liver and inferiorly kidney it is true in case of both left and right adrenal gland inferiorly here also the uh, kidney and posteriorly the diaphragm and medially bilateral. and in case of right adrenal gland the most important relation of the right adrenal gland is the medial relation this is the vena cava so in case of the relation of the right adrenal gland the most important relation is the inferior vena cava which lies medially of the right adrenal gland because during the operation of the right adrenal gland the inferior vena cava may be injured or may be damaged during this procedure and in case of left adrenal gland here we can see anteriorly it is related to the laser sac and the stomach inferiorly pancreas and the splenic vessels and also the kidney and the posterior medially it is related to the crush of the diaphragm so in this phase most important relation of this is related to the right adrenal gland and it is the inferior vena cava or vena cava in this picture we can see the anterior relation in case of the right adrenal gland here we can see this is the right adrenal gland and it is related anteriorly to the liver and in case of left adrenal gland here we can see the different relation of the anterior adrenal gland here we can see this is the right adrenal gland and this right adrenal gland is closely related to the inferior vena cava so this is very very important that the inferior vena cava it is closely related or medially related to the right suprarenal gland and here we can see the left suprarenal gland and here we can see this point is also um, important to remember that the adrenal gland it receives the rich blood supply from the different sources so now see the artery supply of the adrenal gland here we can see first of all uh, this is the superior adrenal artery or superior suprarenal artery then middle adrenal artery or middle suprarenal artery then inferior adrenal artery or inferior suprarenal artery so again superior suprarenal artery middle suprarenal artery and inferior suprarenal artery and also their origin also important because here we can see the superior suprarenal artery it arises from the inferior phrenic artery then middle suprarenal artery it arises directly from the aorta and inferior suprarenal artery it arises from the uh, renal artery so the artery supply of the adrenal gland it is very very important and we have to uh, know about their sources and that will be very clear in the next figure so here it is very important image uh, to realize the blood supply of the adrenal gland this is the right adrenal gland and this one is the left adrenal gland first of all here we can see the upper part of the suprarenal gland it receives blood from this artery and this artery is the inferior phrenic artery so the superior suprarenal artery it receives blood from the inferior phrenic artery and then here we can see in the middle area it is the middle suprarenal artery here we can see this is the middle suprarenal artery and this middle suprarenal artery it receives blood from 
directly from this large vessel and which is the abdominal outer so middle supranasal artery it receives its blood from directly from the abdominal outer and then we can see this one is the inferior supranasal artery here you can see this is the inferior supranasal artery and this inferior supranasal artery arises from this artery which is the renal artery so this is all about the artery supply of the suprarenal gland again here we can see superior suprarenal artery middle suprarenal artery and inferior suprarenal artery superior suprarenal artery arises from inferior phrenic artery middle suprarenal artery arises from the abdominal aorta and inferior suprarenal artery arises from the renal artery so this six name is very very important so we have to remember or we have to memorize all the name then we can see this is the venous drainage of the adrenal gland the venous drainage of the adrenal gland it differs from one side to other here we can see the right suprarenal gland here we can see right suprarenal gland or right adrenal gland it drains it venous drainage to the left adrenal vein and this left adrenal vein it drains into sorry it is not left it is the right adrenal this is the right adrenal vein and this right adrenal vein is directly drained into the inferior vena cava but in case of left side here we can see in case of left side the first of all it drains into the left renal vein and the end it drains into the inferior vena cava so it will be very clear in the picture here we can see the venous drainage in case of right side in case of right side it is the right suprarenal gland and the right suprarenal gland it drains its blood directly this great vessel which is the inferior vena cava so in the right side from the adrenal gland blood directly drain into the inferior vena cava but in case of left suprarenal gland here we can see first of all it drains into the left suprarenal vein and this left suprarenal vein it finally drains into the inferior vena cava so it is now clear that the right suprarenal gland it drains in the the inferior vena cava and left suprarenal gland it drains primarily in the left suprarenal vein and then into the inferior vena cava and here we can see the histological layers of the suprarenal gland they are dividing into three zone one of them is the zona glomerulosa then zona fasciculata and zona reticularis here you can see the zona reticularis so histologically adrenal gland is divided into three areas zona glomerulosa zona fasciculata and zona reticularis here you can see the outermost layer is the zona glomerulosa and the innermost layer is the zona reticularis so this is all about the adrenal gland thank you all